Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are doing another episode of Shrine's Legacy, a interesting and fun new, it's a demo right now. It is a SNES inspired uh, role playing game and it's 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 fun. It's it is a demo. There are some issues with it. Um, I'm kind of excited to see what is going to develop uh, along the way and in the last episode we were dealing with this puzzle here which we had a little bit of difficulty with and the devs helped me out a little bit the uh, I appreciate the devs uh, kind of uh, supporting me as I support them as they do uh, links and uh, share my stuff on Twitter and that sort of thing uh, but they gave me a little hint here somehow I'm supposed to use um, this to hurt um, or to defeat the uh, monster there. They said that uh, in some areas, all the monsters have to be defeated before uh, you can, ow, I ran into little spiky things again, uh, before you can continue. And I'm supposed to use this little ice block in a way to, um, it, to defeat him. So I appreciate the devs help on this. I just got to figure it out now. Now that's the tricky part and that's all on me. So let's see if we can line this up to him. I can't, oh, there we go. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know I could knock it through those brambles, uh, but I guess I can. Well, that's kind of cool. We'll have to keep that in mind. And that is a lot easier than um, what, I, what I was trying to do. So we got a couple different brambles here and that's really, I guess, what was missing me up. These we, things can't go to. These are more like vines up in front of me. And these more look like br uh, brambles on the ground, something across the ground that's going to hurt. Um, so some things can go on these. Uh, and that's going to be something that's going to be uh, helpful to remember. And this guy is going to have my key because he's all sparkly. And uh, that's going to be very helpful. So I appreciate the devs. Um, that's very nice of them to uh, not only help me out, but also support me, as, like I said, as I'm supporting them. Uh, this game's fun. I got to say it's a lot of fun and uh, interesting, and I like to see how it continues to be developed. And it's also cool for them to, you know, uh, watch, comment, or, uh, you know, put my stuff out on uh, Twitter. That is very nice, and I do appreciate uh, that of them. Uh, but... The game is interesting. You are Rio Shrine um, and the legacy, ew, that, that doesn't bode well. Uh, the Shrine's legacy is your family legacy of this sword. And this sword has been brought down from the ages through your family. And now you have to go back and defeat the bad guy with your sword. Uh, ugh, why is there so much slime in here? There have been a lot of gels in the forest. Is that normal? No, not that I... Uh-oh, we got a big gel. No, of... Uh, that might be the source of the gels. Oh, man, we've got to fight this thing? Uh, yeah, it looks like I do not believe it's giving us much choice. That is true. And if I used my attack weapon instead of my run button, it would probably be much, much help more helpful. Um, oh, he's going to start throwing those things out too. Oh, that's not cool. Uh, that's going to make it a little bit harder to fight these guys. Um, let's see if we can get out. If I can stop. Oh, the hearts is going to be good. Very useful. Hearts are going to be important. Can I even... I can't see. Ooh, what is I'm going to have to do? That is one. Can I freeze it? Oh, no. Eh, get away. Get away. Ah, get away from me. I can't seem to freeze that. I am not hurting that at all. Um... I am definitely not hurting. And I'm just running into these things. Um, it's going away from me when I hit it. But it's definitely not getting damaged. I'm trying to... Oh, what I'm going to have to do is hit it with that. Oh, whoa. Okay. This is interesting. Um, not a big fan of uh, two-hit bosses like that. But, yeah, okay. It's something we can handle. I, I, can, I can deal with this. Um... So we just got to kill these guys again. And eh, I don't really like these guys very much, but eh, I'm going to die here. 
Let's see if I can switch to Re Rima and keep my health a little bit longer. That might be beneficial to me. Uh, if the the fact the pro the biggest problem is me running into the enemy uh, right here. Um, she doesn't seem as strong as he d is though. His her hits do a little less damage. But if I could freeze that guy and knock it up into him, there we go. Um, there we go. Stop running into the person. It would be much, much, much helpful. Um, you know, using your face to hurt the enemies doesn't really hurt as much as you think it would. Um, and that is the crux of the problem here. Throw me out one of those little guys again because I really could use the little things that hurt you. Hey, stay away. Uh, now he's throwing a little fire uh, ring here that's going to hurt us if we're in. Yeah, go away. I like that I can ping pong them around though. That's kind of cool. Uh, at least I can knock him off. Can I just freeze that right here and then hit it up into him? There we go. Nice. Let's do it. We can take him out right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's do it. Yeah, I got him, I think. Yep. Cool. Sweet. I like that boss. Not a, again, not a big fan of the double hits, but I think almost all of them are double hits anymore. You discovered material red essence yellow essence oh we got a crystal is that a one of the crystals that we need well that wasn't so bad the gemstone rio awesome so we have to collect eight gemstones that should be the second one we started one the blue gemstone gives us an ice and i don't know if the red gemstone is going to give us a fighter magic ability or not but we're gonna to have to go through the game and collect the other six now amazing this is what gives the sword its power huh that seems to be the fire gem act lore must be using great beast to protect them fire these indentions on the blades hilt match the gem's shape oh there we go it's perfect fit you should be able to use fire magic now give it a try oh wow i like that let me see the fire gem, please. Now, can she use it too? Yeah, sweet. I like that, but how do I... So, is that how you learn the ice magic too? Correct. Now, we have best leave. Ow, ow, Aklor may sense that his guardian has been defeated. There should be a way out of the woods further onward. Let's go. Okay, so we toggle elements. Okay, cool. I like that. It toggles from up there. Um, so RB is toggling the elements and then Y will switch your character. Uh, I like that. That's pretty cool. Um, definitely very helpful here. Oh, and look at that. That is perfect. Your health was restored. Yes, I would like to save my... <laughs> Always save the process. But we got some grass to cut through here. Let's see. If, can, I, can I burn the grass? Oh, I can. Look at that. Nice. Hey, okay, my 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 fire hurts myself. <laughs> I guess I could have guessed that, you know. Um, fire hurts me no matter what. I mean, duh. You start a fire, you're gonna get hurt by it. It doesn't really matter. That went that part of the forest. <laughs> okay, so let's. I hope we. Oh, there's Aklor himself, the evil guy, the forest guardian has gone to oblivion so two gemstones are now in their possession we gotta run he's gonna be on our tail the whole way he's just pushing us through and we've got to be careful Ooh, where are we are we back oh we back uh she's resting now may we may i see her so this must be back at um the house uh, the village Carolyn is uh, Rio's mother. We found that out, I think, in the last episode. Uh, so this is must be a cut scene to show us that um, Rio's friend, whose name is escaping me at the moment, is okay. Or how that part of the story is progressing. Uh, I heard you were very brave earlier. You had me worried sick. Maya, that's right. Where's Rio? Well, Rio had to go fulfill his destiny. We're not the only one trying to be brave today. Oh, poor Melee. He's he's uh she's worried about him. I'm afraid so. He and that young woman, Rima, are searching for the lost gemstones. 
Rima, who is that? A woman with violet eyes. Violet eyes. She appeared to be a magic user. Do you know her? I... I only met her briefly. What are you doing with that thief, Rio? Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Rima stole our magic gem to begin with, but we kind of figured out it was okay because she was trying to warn us and protect us. Um, she stole our store, our sword. She had the first gem. She stole, stole our sword to try to get back at uh, Aklor. She was trying to defeat Aklor. Um... So, but she didn't have the right magic. We have the right magic to be able to defeat him. Um, or the right abilities because it's, the sword is attuned to us and we have to, um, we are the only ones that are able to use it, I guess, effectively or use it. Uh, yeah, she was not, she, although she is a magic user, she couldn't use the shrine sword to be able to um i'm just kind of looking around and cover all my bases right now um because it, it is a shrine sword and i have to use it i guess only people of the shrine legacy can use it i guess hey we got a little tree here let's cut down the tree deforestation we're gonna have to end up breaking into that person's house here in a little bit too um yay for destructive breaking and entering. um i do not know why rpgs insist on having us break in and enter everywhere uh doesn't make much has never made much sense to me let's just go into somebody's house and break all their pots Ooh, what are you what are you what are you a floating toad frogaw here you're here for my dummy aren't you well it's mine you can't have it Feel free to gaze upon it from across the fence, though. Well, you're a jerk. <laughs> I will destroy your stuff. Now you be a jerk about it. Ooh, we got little uh, crabby tree crabs. It's kind of what they look like, which is kind of cool, uh, to be honest with you. It also appears that the main person gets a little bit more experience than the... Can I destroy the fence? No than the secondary person. Like the main person battling. I wonder if Rima's magic is stronger. Her weapon is definitely a lot shorter and a lot weaker. There's the frog. What is he doing up there? Frog goober. All okay, right, well, I guess we are going to, yeah, let's go ahead and save it. It's always good to save. Let's go see if we can find the frog. Oh, we're up in a new area. I didn't expect it to go into a new area like that. I really want to get the frog though. Ooh, ooh. can we get, can we fire? Boom. Yeah, oh, that didn't help. That helped, but kind of hurt me too. I really like Rima, uh, Rima's, I don't know, better, but Rio's sword is a lot longer. We need to lose him, we do. Maybe we can, oh, uh-oh, we got more enemies. Oh, there's an old lady. You're in danger, ma'am. Get out of here quick. I bet she's a very powerful witch that's going to save us or something. <laughs> Old coot. That's hilarious. I love that. Yes, yes, I see. That's awesome that her name's Old Coot. Ah, excellent, most excellent. She's going like, what is going on here, lady? Married couples always make the finest customers. You newlyweds will be my finest work. Er, regulars yet. <laughs> Ridiculous old woman we have no time for. Time? Why are you so worried about time? You think you're clocks or something? That is not. I identify as a grandmother clock myself. <laughs> the puns. Listen, lady, we're being pursued by Aklor and his demon henchmen. Do you get it now? It's dangerous here. You know, lady never suited me. Delane, my name by the by rolls off the tongue much better. And if we're talking demons in a hellish pursuit, I've got just the Pessia. Come hither, witness my amazing concoction of 
demons be gone. Okay. A little weird. This will blow the entire area to smithereens. I'm not sure if I want the higher entire area is blown up. Kabush! That didn't help us much. I mean, protected us, yes, but didn't help us much. Oh, look. We're hidden from the evil people. <laughs> I'm brilliant. I'm not sure if brilliant's the right word, but okay. You said you were going to blow everything up. Ah, but I did blow your minds. <laughs> Too bad for my vines, they'll be gone in a couple of days. Oh well, no waste. I'll make a vine sauce out of them later. I like her, she's funny. Ahem, <laughs> that was a mere exhibit of my work. Indulge me for a moment, blue potion or red potion? Um, let's go red. Ah, red, I feel the heat and passion for your adventurous newlyweds. We're not. You need to cool off. Take this bottle. Come find me and Marie's, and I'll make your first blue brew free. Received a blue bottle to check your current potions going. Got it. If you want some incredible elixirs, you are in luck. With the right ingredients, I can even increase your health and magic. I travel all over. Look for me in any towns you may visit. I was on my way to Marie's before running into you, hot lovers. Toodles! I like Grandma. She's funny. Senile? Definitely. Most assuredly. Um, whoa! Okay, so we can't go... Whoa, that's not good. I did not... Okay. Um, now we're in the water, and I don't want to be in the water, really, but uh, sure. We're swimming. Can we get back on the land? Uh, I feel that I did something really, really... Oh, there's stairs here. Good. Woo! I got worried there for a second. Really worried there. I got to go this way, right? I mean, the the vines, yeah, blocked me off that way. Okay, so we are heading this way, I guess. I really don't like the game kind of blocking me off there because before I had a choice of which way to go and I choose chose up instead of the right, and now I'm kind of blocked off in this area. And hopefully, I like to explore, so I hopefully I can go back to the right at some point and be able to explore. These guys are tough against that fire. But not against my sword, you will die. I'll chop you into little firewoods and burn you to pieces. Keep on hitting the wrong button. That's the run button. And I don't want to hit the run button. I hit the switch button. Marie's okay, so that wasn't too far. So we're in a new village. Let's see what the old kook has to uh, uh, give us. Oh, there's a fox. I like that fox guy. He's kind of cool looking. Let's go talk to the fox. Okay. Oh, I can smell the sea. Let's check out this town. It's built entirely on a pier. You have never been to Marie's? It's, it is close to Ural. Ural's my home village. We've never even been through Coleco Forest. Wow, yeah, we haven't went anywhere. <laughs> Prosperous offers fishing exports and is well known for the Bounty Hunters HQ. Wow. Headquarters of uh, Bounty Hunters is kind of interesting. If their gemstones are guarded by great beasts under Aklor's control, our goal is to find such beasts. Let's start by asking around and see if any leads turn up. Come on, I'm dying to see what Marie's is like. Well, let's see. We have a post office with a weird kind of, I don't know. Let's buy some fish. Will you buy my fish, eat my fish, love my fish, fresh fish, freshest fish. I'm selling fish and unlike the guy next to me, I'm not a total weirdo. So you'll buy for me, right? You buy for me, 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 you aren't going to buy my fish. But I thought my marketing strategy was perfect. I would have to agree that your marketing strategy was amazing. Oh, I bet we can go on that boat. That like oh it didn't I it was I wish we could go on the boat. That'd be kind of cool actually. Um I wanna go in the mail room. Can I go in the mail? 
Oh, it's a little cat. A post cat. Welcome to the post service. We pride... No, I did that wrong. We pride ourselves on delivering your parcels and letters with the utmost quality and care. Let's paw. Er, may I ask, does that sound like a good advertising slogan? Yeah, that was great. Yay, I mean, er, your f feedback is very appreciated. Okay, well... Let's see what else we could do. There's this little fox guy right here. Let's talk to the fox guy. I moved out here from Ildar years ago. Best decision I ever made. Ildar is too darn frigid and I just love the sea breeze. Okay, okay. wonder if I... Oh, I can't jump. I was like, I wonder if we can jump off into the water. Well, we can, just so you know. Well, I wasn't quite expecting that, but yeah, okay. You're buying or staring at my merchandise dice all day. Can I buy? Examine. Buy the opalusal Jew? Jewel? I don't think I have that much. Gain slightly more HP when attacking enemies. Huh. Oh, I do have that much. What does this do? The Lodestone Jewel pulls in enemy drops as soon as they appear. And what is this? Buy the Earthroot Jewel. Knockback received is reduced. No, now I did another thing that the devs helped me out about is that if I go into inventory, jewels, there's a way to jewels. Oh, change jewels at save point. Yeah, so we, I forgot about that. So we could go to a save point and fix our jewels, but I don't think there was a nearby save point. Is there one in town? Because that would be really helpful. Um, I don't really see one readily. But I think the last one was pretty far back there. Rio, or, uh, the city is bigger than I thought it would be. I'm kind of just running around to see if I can find... Oh, there we go. Oh, there's the old coot again. Let's save. And then let's check jewels now i should be able to yeah there we go displays a mini map there we go and okay so now he has two jewels to play enemy health bars okay that's kind of cool so now when i i could load them independently which is helpful progress was not saved yes i don't know if i want to talk to old coot again right away she was kind of scary in a way Let's go into break into people's houses. That was a shop. I think that's all over here. This is a fishing pier. Ooh, a, a, oh, oh, poo. So we got to be careful. <laughs> you can easily run off the edge of the pier. We have learned. Um, I think. Oh, no. Don't run off the edge of the pier again. I want to open this little treasure box right here without falling off the edge of it. You discovered material morel. So hopefully, I was thinking that the different materials I found were going to allow me to um, make things like in a crafting. And it's going to be sort of a crafting, but I think it's going to be... Where was that lady? Oh, there's another treasure chest. Let's open that one. Come on. Ooh, cyan jelly. So it's going to be this lady that we're going to talk to. Uh, I mentioned something early. Keep an eye out for potion recipes that might be laying around. Most are documented in books located all around. Find them, and I'll be make more kinds of potions for you. But enough talk. Why don't you take a gander at what I have to offer? Okay, brew patient potions. So I can brew permanence potion. I don't know what it does. Retrieve stored empty bottle. Fill it with a potion to use. Okay. So red is medicine, it restores 20 HP, cost 20, and I got, it's five. Yeah, no, two green slime, 20 of coins, and yeah, okay, three magic. Okay, okay. Attack power increases temporarily. Interesting, it needs a squid, it looks like. That's kind of neat. Okay. Brew permanence potion. I don't. Oh, okay. There we go. Red elixir of life permanently increases Rio's max HP. So 
So I need two of those, which I have two. Interesting. Red Elixir of Magic. Rima's. Okay, okay. Neat, neat. I like that. Well, might as well use... I have the two, so let's go ahead and blue through that. Drink it. There we go. And then brew one of these, I guess, so that we can get hers up a level. And I might as well throw in um, a health potion as well. Let's retrieve storage. Okay. So let's do a, go ahead and do one of these red ones as well. And I could swap store. Interesting. Fill it with a potion D. So interesting. So I could actually brew and store potions there. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's, no, I don't want to talk. <laughs> no. Uh, maybe later. Uh, so now I should have a potion. Yeah, there we go. A health potion in here. That's cool. So it looks like we can only have one, two, three, four potions available at a time. And we can store more back at her place, it looks like. We still got three green slimes, three blue jellies, and two cyans. Oh, and I got a mushroom, but I need two of them. Equipment. Okay, I wonder if I can get more equipments later. Oh, no. Because it looks like I can get more armor and then more weapons as well. The items, the jewels we've been through. And we've, there's a couple pages that we still haven't found. That's interesting. There's actually quite a lot to go through here. Um, hmm, what do I want to do here? I would try to think there was something I was looking at. Oh, I want to see if I can find a shop that's going to, I could buy. That was the jewel market. That was a place. I bet these are just random houses. Yeah, these are going to be houses, but I wonder if I could find, like, papers. Come sell away from this popular fishing and selling resort and all the land. It's not rhyme. Okay, so we probably will have to look in all those, like, bookshelves and stuff so that we can see if we can find some of those letters or something. What is this? It looks like a hotel. Welcome to Marie's Inn. Awesome. But it really doesn't... Can I, like, sleep in the beds? I could lay in the beds, but I really, it's not letting me sleep, though. That's interesting. Got a guardrail over here. That's cool. I don't want to fall into the water every time. You are just, oh, you have a little fishing hole in your house. Now, that's kind of cool. I guess that's useful when you are in a, uh, on a pier. They look like luchadors over there. Hey, hey, what can I do you for? We are searching for great and dangerous monsters. Is there a bounty for such a fiend? Well, we've got smaller fiends that need taking care of locally. Of course, there is one particular beast, but pardon me for saying, but you two probably aren't up for it. We're more than up for it. We have the skills of any magic user in my mastery of swordplay. Tell us about this particular beast. A magic user and a swordsman, huh? Well, in that case, it's... Uh-oh. We got luchadors on us now. Ooh, so you think you've got what it takes to hunt the mighty Grunus? Oh, I bet he can't even dodge an enemy attack like this. Okay. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> I love it. Look at his face. Large dodge ability. Okay. That's going to be helpful. Ha! Even so, your muscles aren't toned enough for such an enormous task. The Grunus is all about the find your own hunt, scrawny runts. What is the Grunus and who are you three? Aini! Cho! Ki! We're the three Hiroshi brothers, manliest bounty men. <laughs> exactly. That's my thoughts exactly, Rima. What in the world? I'm sorry I asked. The Gunas has been a menace to the local town folk. We need to eradicate the monster and claim the reward. 
The likes of you don't have a prayer. We have a few prayers. <laughs> it's you who needs to pray. Ooh, I always like a challenge. It's so macho. Whatever. Just don't expect us to step down. What dream of it? Don't get any ideas about traveling to Gunas Island, just offshore of Marie's. We deduce that with a name like Gunas Island, a lot of the Gunas being there, uh, the odds of the Gunas being there is are a lot. So we call dibs. You don't say. Of course, we pros at this after all. We're so professional, gazing all upon our professional business suits. I am so at awe. And so we take our leave. May the most macho hunters win. Interesting. I am intrigued and scared at the same time. <laughs> and worried. And I don't know what other. Yeah, they're weird. I think we did degree to a race. We need a boatman. Yes. Yeah, mean to go with it. Yeah, we would. We really would like. The reward is 500 Zool. Holy crap. Dogs wouldn't hold your breath. Okay, well, there we go. Tap XY moving and we can do a dash. Ooh, awesome. Little dash. Can I? A bunch of text work regarding various bounty strategy and monster hunts line the shelves. Okay. So that's kind of cool. That Well, we knew that that was a run move anyways. Um, I think we're gonna leave. Oh, he might take us to the oh, we almost fell off the edge to the uh, ship uh, To the island, but I think we're gonna leave that for the next episode We're gonna search around the city a little bit more and see if we can find maybe an arms dealer and uh, Maybe upgrade our stuff a little well. We don't have very much money, but maybe we can upgrade something But uh, I do appreciate oh, oh, I don't need to go up here right now. Well fine be that away, I guess. I don't think there's anything else for us to search in then. This was the, yep, the guy's shop. So I guess we're going out to Gunas Island in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. We need to save this right up here before we head off. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.